Hello guys, um, this is Lake the Pondling here, and welcome to episode 3 of my Freeware Games Review Show. And um, today we're going to take a quick peek at um, the battle for Westness, and we're going to see whether it's worth downloading. So, what is this thing? Well, this is actually one of the better known... Um, I'm going to pull a... I'm going to pull a... Uh, replay of a mission I've already played so I can talk without not that one sorry there you go this looks good all right so I'm gonna load up a random mission that I've already played so I can just talk to you about the game and my opinions and stuff about it so the battle for Westness is a fantasy strategy game you might not think that goes together, but in this case, it goes together rather well. It is um, not a real-time strategy game. Um, there is um, un one that comes to mind that is is Glessed, but I had trouble getting that one to work. I haven't had it on my computer for a while, so we're taking a look at this one. I've had actually played this one a lot more than I did Glessed, and I think it's a better game. It's better developed. It's got I don't know how much the mics are picking up from the speakers, but um, it's got an all original, very good soundtrack for one. And it's got some really cool, unique features like, oh, let me try to think here. Like the fact that um one thing that's interesting and unique is that your each of your units are Sorry. each of the, your units are they carry over from scenario to scenario. So the stronger and better your units get, the more the you know the further you can get along and. So you want to keep your veteran units alive instead of just wasting them willy-nilly. You're going to want those units because there's going to be no way you're going to get through the some of these some of these battles with, with weak first level units. That's just how this game works. Um, so this game is well done. As you can see, the graphics are very nice, especially for a freeware title, which this is a freeware title. It's 100% free, and it's considered one of the best out there. And it's not a hard game to pick up. You, it's hex-based, so you merely click on the um, you merely click on the square, and then click to tell your units where you want them to go. And that's that's all you have to do to play. But it's a little it's a little more challenging than that. But so overall it's a very good game it's very polished it's very complete but i have a slight problem with this game and i know that there are people out there that do have this problem not a ton but there are some that do and that is this game is a fantasy strategy game and as such as a fantasy strategy game there are certain elements of fantasy literature especially contemporary fantasy literature like magic and all this game has all your traditional fantasy races humans elves orcs goblins all of them you'll find within the battle for westness and while for a lot of people that isn't a problem for some people there are some people out there that have a huge problem with magic in games i'm, I'm just warning you and the fact that this is a strategy game and you have characters fighting and battling so because we're looking at this from the most, the absolutely the most family friendly point of view we can, I can't give this game, even though as beautiful and polished as it is, any more than a C rating for those reasons. Um, I would say definitely check it out, but only if you aren't the kind that minds magic too much. Alright, that's that's it and uh be sure to check us 